In Sunday service at church, I talked about how the recent service and learning trip to Haiti that some of our church participants went on really challenged me to rethink a lot of the ways that I imagine my own growth as a Unitarian Universalist and as a person of faith. On the trip, I mentioned how easy it was for a lot of us, myself included, to really be concerned with how we were being seen and understood by different people. Did they know that we were competent or that we had answers or could fix things or that we were different or special, unique from other groups who had come to do similar work? And at the end of that week, and really for the weeks after, I've been reflecting on the fact that some of my greatest contributions to that trip were moments when I was present for others in humility and love. The coming of age students who were present in the sanctuary heard me say that I remember that time in their lives from when I was there and how easy it is to be measured by a test in school or a college application or prepping for a career in which it seems like our human worth is tied to being smart and competent. And I know that that doesn't end when you stop being a teenager. It's very easy for us and especially as you use sometimes to get caught up in the idea that our value comes from being competent or smart or unique. And as our faith is grounded theologically in profound humility and active love, this week and in the weeks that follow I'm challenged to measure my growth not in whether from year to year I learn more facts, but whether or not I can look back and ask if I've become more humble and more loving with the people in my life and the people whom I serve. So we're curious to know how that resonates with you, how you measure your spiritual growth and whether or not you feel challenged in those ways. Let us know what you think.